It's time for the highlight reel. We're going to speed through the stories that stood out to us during the day and tell you why they mattered all in 100 seconds. So let's get that clock up. Chris, ready, set, go. Okay, I'm starting off in Texas where Senator Ted Cruz, conservative uh, beloved figure, did not endorse Texas Republican Senator John Cornyn. Why is this interesting? One, they are Texas colleagues. Two, <laughs> yeah. Ted Cruz is the vice chairman of the National Republican Senatorial Committee, which is supposed to endorse incumbents. He's running for president. There's that. Three seconds left. Wow, I'm, I'm kind of impressed. So, uh, Colorado Governor John Hickenlooper might be facing a tougher re-election campaign than previously, previously expected. So there's a new Quinnipiac poll that's actually really interesting. He has a 48% job approval rating, but on uh, but people don't like him. They're, they're still on things like guns, things like the death penalty, are drawing down his approval ratings in that area. And he was much more popular a year yeah, ago. Yeah, seriously. But I don't want to waste my time because we have New York mayoral candidate Christine Quinn. She got endorsed by, wait for it, the New York Times. Uh, I'm a big believer that endorsements make absolutely new, no difference in 99.9% mm -hmm. mm -hmm. of circumstances. The 0.1% is in a New York City Democratic mayoral primary. The New yeah, York Times does matter. Speaking of endorsements, Michelle Nunn, Georgia Senate candidate, got the nod from abortion rights groups Emily's List. Now, this, this will give her funding that she needs. Mm -hmm. It might come back to haunt her a little bit because Georgia is, not, is an anti-abortion state for the most part, but it still gives her funds that she needs to fight. Georgia, uh, the Republican side, has a big crowded primary and that'll work in her favor she hopes <laughs> and former washington post executive <laughs> editor and iconic journalist ben bradley turns 92 years old Happy today birthday. Uh, he recent recipient of the medal of freedom this is a guy who's at the center of watergate driving the coverage home and i will tell you i saw him three months ago looks like he's about 65. give me a little bit more time on thank that you one. all right <laughs> we always wish we had more time <laughs> But, you know, that, that, this, that's the game. So, but what <laughs> stories did we miss? You can let us know on Twitter using the hashtag in play.